welcome to my farmhouse. I'm Leanne, and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos, and if that sort of thing interests you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. We are going to be making a sourdough cinnamon streusel coffee cake. I've made it several times before, and when Anna asked me to come join her from Fall into Sourdough collaboration, I said I have the perfect recipe. It uses disc card, so you don't have to worry about the rise and fall of the sourdough starter. And it's good for when you have company coming over. So let's get to baking, shall we? For this coffee cake recipe, you're going to need a half a cup of softened butter, which is one stick. You're going to need a cup of granulated sugar, two eggs, a half a cup of sour cream, or you can also use a thick Greek yogurt. You're going to need a teaspoon of vanilla, two cups of all-purpose flour, a teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of your starter, which is unfed. And for the streusel topping, you want ice cold butter cubed up, a half a cup of brown sugar, at least a teaspoon and a half of cinnamon. I think you can never have enough until there's too much. And also a quarter cup of all-purpose flour. Heat our oven to 350. Make sure your rack's in the middle. Then you want to grease your pan. Either a 9 by 9 or 8 by 8. Or you can double the recipe and make a 9 by 13. Alright. Now I'm gonna find my bowl. Alright, to start, we're gonna add in our butter and our sugar, and we're gonna cream those together. And I'm using my paddle attachment that has a spatula attached. I got this recipe from the website heartscontentfarmhouse.com. I'll leave you a link to that website down below. Then you want to start adding your eggs. I crack them into a separate bowl just to prevent any shell getting into the baked good. It's not a good thing when your husband bites into it and then there's something crunchy. Don't want to have to answer that. Then I head over to the sink and wash my hands before I proceed. Then we're gonna add our vanilla. One teaspoon. Then we are gonna beat till fluffy. My sourdough journey began when the needy homesteader started her sourdough starter series. I started Big Bertha while she did that series on YouTube and I joined her Facebook group and I shared every little bit and piece that I knew about sourdough and then then the accident happened then she asked me to make a video and the rest is history. Then we are going to add all our dry ingredients to a separate bowl. All right, two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Then we're gonna whisk to combine. I am using a dough whisk. It comes in handy when you're making sourdough bread. To the wet ingredients, we're gonna alternate adding the dry ingredients and our sourdough starter and our sour cream one third at a time. This gives me an opportunity to tell you to go down to my description box for all the links to the other collaborators in this lovely sourdough collaboration and you want to make sure you're commenting on all the videos because Anna's going to have a giveaway at the end of the month. I don't know about you, but I can't get away without making a mess. <laughs> it can't be a video without a mess, right? And the reason I had it on the slow stir is you don't want to over mix it. And the batter is going to be a heavier consistency than a normal cake batter. Let's make this trussel topping. I'm going to chop it up a little bit just to get the food processor going. Then we added our flour and our brown sugar and our cinnamon. Then pulse it until it looks like sand. 
Here's a close up just to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Just little bits of butter there. Since the batter is not as runny as most cake batters, it was suggested to use an ice cream scoop and I, halfway through, I thought it was Trish's idea. Now sourdough is a skill that you don't learn overnight. In fact, I've been dealing with sourdough at least two years now and the only reason I have this starter is because Carrie from my table of three sent me some of her discard dehydrated. Rest in peace, old Bertha. Sourdough is a skill that comes with time. Just like baking bread. I didn't learn that overnight, but you guys tell me that I make it look easy. So, it just knowledge and experience. That's how you get, build skills. So after I put half the batter in, I put some of the spruceal topping in, then I put the rest of the batter in. Now I'm spreading that all around, and then I'll finish putting the rest of the spruceal topping on. And now we're ready for the oven. We're going to bake this in a preheated 350 degree oven for 40 to 45 minutes. You always want to start checking it sooner than later. But our timer has gone off and we're going to pull it out and see if it's done. Alright. Let's make sure this is done. Because nothing is worse than something. Oh, we got it clean. Yay. Because we can turn off the oven. Look at that. Mm. We're going to let it cool so it'll cook clean. And then we'll be back and give you a taste test. All right. Let's try this coffee cake, shall we? The sourdough cinnamon streusel coffee cake. All right. Let's see if I can eat this pretty. It just has way more flavor than something you would make without sourdough in it. I don't know how to say it. It just it just has a little bit more oomph to it. I'm sure it would be great with your home canned jams in the center of it for another flavor. I hope you give sourdough a try and give this recipe a try. It is wonderful. Remember, God gave you a great day. Now go do something great. Take care and God bless. Thanks so very much for watching. If you made it this far into the video, I'm sure you're loving the content of this channel. May I suggest you watching this next? Take care and God bless.